Hey, I'm Nick Castle and Gamer. Welcome back to PCM 22 Career Mode, Episode 96, and it's Torino Adriatico, Stage Number One, with a team time trial that sets off. Uh, currently at an 88. Let's bump that up a little bit more. We'll make that a 91. Can we handle a 91? 21 kilometers is the length. Peters, quick turn for him. Uh, Guzman on top, minus two for him, minus one for Hoggins, and a minus three for Tereskin. Means we actually end up with a negative two net for the team today, which is not great. Uh, definitely not great. Not what, what was expected for us. Uh, Guzman, actually the minus two was expected for him as he is low motivation right now. He's just not happy at this stage of the season. Piccioni, Martinez though, with good race day condition will help us out a little bit. Uh, Guzman hanging in there. The 91, I think we're just about managing to get uh, Guzman can't quite close it up on the back. I think he is gonna end up getting dropped. Oof, so is Peters, that's, yeah. Okay, 90 it is. 91 a little too hard. Tereskin, he hasn't even had a turn, has he? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Okay, we've gone out a little bit too hard. Uh, Huggins, Martinez, Piccioni need to let these guys kind of close it back in a little bit. And they are, they are managing to do so, but the two on top, uh, Piccioni and Martinez. We need to back off and let those guys kind of close up on them. The, the back group will regain contact here shortly. There you go. Martinez drops back to the group. 10k to go. That's the checkpoint. Still fourth place, 26 seconds. So we pushed a little too hard, but this is going to bring us back together. And there we go. Now everybody's back together. Now we can get back to, I think, a 90 and see if we can see this out with that effort. Martinez looks good. Morgado, he's done. He's got to be slowing us up at the moment. Guzman, 6.7. Keep pushing. We got the full group. It's okay if we drop some guys here. There's Guzman peeling off to the back. 5K to go. Yeah, 90 was the way to go, not a 91. We pushed just a hair too hard. Pearskin to the back. He might get dropped. He's only a minus three today. That shouldn't hold, but he's not our leader. I mean, 75 Mountain's not going to make him our leader, so it's okay if he goes back. Uh, we don't want Martinez going to the back here, and that's a little worried with uh, 1.8K. Martinez, stay on top, stay on top, stay on top. Don't fade. Don't fade. Don't peel off. Don't peel off. Keep going. There you go. <sighs> I thought he was good. I thought they were good. And he was leading us through. Nobody was tired. Nobody exhausted. It's a few seconds lost. Guzman crosses the line. Sixth place. 43 seconds down. Boy. Not the time I was aiming for. I was definitely hoping for a good 10 seconds, 15 seconds better. Time trialing is still not our strength. Uh, really showed from that one. Clearly the 91, they couldn't quite handle. The 90, they could. But then Martinez, I give the tiniest acceleration for the last 100 meters. He was going one kilometer an hour harder. Everybody's following him. They had energy and they couldn't keep up with him. <laughs> okay. As many of you already know, Perinice and Torino Adriatico happen simultaneously and are two races that have a very similar profile and serve a very similar purpose and essentially double up on the opportunity for every team, which is why they are half the reason anyway, why they are beloved as, as, as what they uh, exist for. So what that is, is it's a stage race opportunity early in the season and it's the first solid opportunity for climbers grand tour types to to start to get their legs out and get them stretched and prepared for the the proper part of the season to, to get going it, you know the, the reality is those climbers don't get too many opportunities before this stage to climb now, today as you can see is just a simple warm-up stage you know the, the climbing stages are less frequent than you get in some races later on in the season, but they do come. They do get those opportunities. You get plenty of, sorry about the mic. You do get plenty of opportunities 
to at least have some punchy days but then you do you know you get a couple decent climbing opportunities in these races and with two of them happening at the same time you get 14 riders to get their legs off and going and test them on the mountains for the first time for the year instead of seven riders so you're doubling your chance at getting some guys out and also at the same time they have a better chance of being competitive you've got two top tens to compete to get into so now you're you know you're looking at more guys more riders with a solid opportunity to compete in gc and be competitive in it and not just you know wait for the tour de france and go oh gosh i'm not in the top 15 i never got a chance i never you know it gives you a chance early in the season to compete against others but it splits those field up gives you more opportunities and, and that's why Perry Nice and Terreno Adriatico are a beautiful thing. Now this is already stage three of Perry Nice. First two were sprint stages. They take their time getting into it. But at you know eight stages, I think Terreno Adriatico is seven stages and starts a couple days later. The overlap is quite clear, quite evident. Alright, we're done with the water task. Uh, we are also beginning to fade a little bit at our first couple of guys with yikes race day conditions. Hey, hey, hey. It's rough day. Rough day for Team Babco. Uh, we lost a minute on the other one. Can we do better here? We're going to have to gel up for Karaman already uh, as we have kind of the last proper descent. Though the finishing is not so bad on this stage. Can we get through the next climb without issue? Well, we're going to have to probably speed up to make sure that we are going to do that. We'll go 82 here. Uh, we still have four riders off the front, though the Peloton has already split. And the yo-yo is already done. Those guys are back in place. And we are through the first phase of the climb. It's going to ease off a bit, falls flat for a little bit. And then the official climb is going to be the later phase of this one. That will begin on that left-hander here in just a moment. And the front three are now just 29 seconds away. This is also the time to not allow yourself to slip back anymore. So 84 to hold position. Uh, Kraman is about to fade, and we're seeing an attempted attack. Champasin, is that going for KOM, or is he actually attacking? Uh, it looks like he is actually attacking, but you're attack getting that response. And we are going backwards. Going backwards. Over the top, though. Reset, and we will form our train and get things going for the last 21k, except Karaman and Kotze. Uh, Kotze just lost contact leave those guys be for now Karaman was nearly done anyway but here's 42 chasing one and let's get ourselves in position and push um, Skouskis is clearly up the road a little bit Garzon do we have any sprinters of this because it's a slightly punchy at the end but not that punchy and no your eye your eye is a bit but he's not much of a puncher so he's going to go on the early side of this uh, Azumi, Garzon are kind of the leaders for the overall for what's to come later. So we'll put them at the back and they're minus two and just get that free toe. So they got three guys to lead them out. Still 20k to go, but a lot of it's going to be downhill. Uh, Uri, great for the downhill part. And then Ponomar, um, Skouskis, yeah, put him in front of those two. He's the one that you're kind of riding for for the day. All right, 99. You can already tell there's effort going on here. And, oh, come on, Ponomar. I'm sending you at a 99, and you're all over the place here. <laughs> there we go. Reset. That little uphill section. Now Ponomar finally showing signs of life. There's Moskowskis. And these guys are getting caught up in the traffic. Why not where we want them to be? There's your eye flying through here. Ponomar is way up the road now. 42 chasing one, just four seconds. He's been brought back. And the field starts to sit up a little bit, which is good. These two are fine, just struggling to keep up. Moskowskis and your eye. There we 
go. Potomar is out front. That's going to start to stretch things. We drop eight riders immediately that get caught out for a moment, though they regain contact. Potomar, for some reason, is just not good. Not good at this. Uh, Uri, I want him to lead the last little bit there, the, the last downhill at this point. Uh, but he's going to have to go sooner as Potomar just ran out of energy. He's out of juice. Eighty-eight. Hold your position, Panamar. See you later. And your eye hits the hill. Can't hack it. The Skouskis is the hill guy. Your eye. Try to get on the back end if you can. Keep pushing. Put this field under pressure. The Skouskis gets over the top. He's got some energy left for the descent, and he's a good. No, he's not a good descender. Uri was the good descender. Okay, he's done. We got Azumi and Garzon for the finish uh, with 3.2k. So gelling up for both of them. And Azumi's going to take over and head for that finish line. Now, I don't fear that he's going to lose any time, even though he's going to definitely run out of red bar before the finish line. But he's going to hopefully set up Garzon for the... You know, final run here, 1.4k, and then now Garzon, and man, oh man, are those guys going fast. Uh, not competitive with this group, not punchy enough for this group, but Arnaud Delay, who's already won the sprint, has won here in the sprinters. Man, surprising to see the sprinters do this well today. As hard as we pushed on those hills, they didn't seem to be phased by it at all. But Garzon and Azumi will definitely get same time. Uri, those guys should be losing time. I mean, they're a minute behind. Skouskis, Kotze. Torino stage number three, and it's our first Pachi one here for this race. Uh, we just had a time trial over at Perry Nice with mixed results on that. So that team's not in a great state, but a lot of our better riders are over here anyway at Torino so 43k left to go and Guzman is going to be the first guy fading he's got a minus two Morgado's got a minus three uh, everybody's expected you know decent race day conditions but we we had a decent net result Morgado and Guzman not looking good but Morgado uh, minus one he was kind of happy about being at this race so his his negatives only a minus one now instead of a minus two but that's about it Guzman fading uh, let's go ahead and get him dropped and have Hoggins go ahead and protect Peters now. Peters plus four. And he's in 80 hills. So we're looking good for our chances today. We've got some climbers. Uh, we'll see if we can do something. The last two riders of the break are down to 40 seconds. So we're bringing them in here rather soon. Uh, this sprint point upcoming. Not worried about that one. Sprinters are going to want to attack it. Let them do that. But we're going to set ourselves up for the two climbs to follow that with 30k left to go. And we're about 12 to 13k from the first of those two finishing climbs. We will wait to put the effort in until after this one. Once we go over the top, now we can up the up the effort and get these guys into a stronger position. Uh, back to the front. Didn't want to waste any energy for that sprint, as you knew that there was going to be a pretty healthy accel acceleration for uh, anybody interested in that sprint jersey. But Morgado and Tereskin feeling it. And that's the thing. There's been some tempo for the moment. That little acceleration has already split the field and brought it down to just 75 riders. Uh, I do not want to start right now at 21k out. But I know it's going to get chaotic soon. So Morgado, uh, you're going to go first, buddy. And Tereskin's going to follow. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's better on the flat. Martinez is the race leader, but Peters is the puncher of the day. So we're going to put Martinez behind Peters, and then we'll use uh, Piccioni as a good lead-out option, and then probably Hoggins. Yes, that was the order I was planning, and that is what we're going to use. Uh, Morgato, we are going to gel now, and we are going to get him moving, but we're not going to get him moving hard and fast yet. We, this is not the time frame, but we've only got a handful of kilometers to go. Uh, as we go under the 20k banner and you can see Ida Schelling trying to attack and uh, form something late for now though keeping the tempo moderate Tereskin will handle the climb though Morgado is a better for that but the minus three is just making him not good today so 
I will use him now. Terra Skin Gel, 17k. That's already 3k from Morgado. And we are missing some teammates, aren't we? Not by far. There they are. So we're actually short two guys, really, as Morgado is done, but he's at the base. Now, Terraskin just giving an 88, as it's the last clan that we really want to be strong on. But if we put the field under a bit of pressure now, that can split the field a little bit earlier. 13.7k. Hoggins is going to have to take over fairly soon. And Terraskin done. Roll down real quick to Hoggins to take over. These two guys on auto, there's no way they can just keep up. And nearly over the top. Just at the top. Let's get a little acceleration here. Philippe Ogana trying to attack. And we've split the field. Now it's just eight. Now it's just eight. This is what we wanted. With us. Van Art, Schelling, Covey, Ghana. Back together. Damn. I knew we weren't going to have a big gap there, but I thought we were going to maintain something a little bit better than that. A little harder for them to catch us. 6K. On a Pigeoni. Oh, come on. I already clicked the button. It did nothing. Always disappointed when it does that. 4K. Peters, gel. And Martinez, gel. Pigioni still setting things up. 3k to go. Pigioni, time to speed things up a little bit more. 2.5k to go. That one more got him out of the saddle. Got him down to 2k. 99 and Pigioni doing his sprint. Will anybody respond to that? Same guys that were here. 1.4 on to Peters. Leading out Martinez. The group is slowly thinning out due to such a frantic pace. Turning left, heading for the finish line over the top, Gregoire. Peters had a little something left to get out front. And we have a little separation. Is Peters fast enough to hang on for the win? He is. Really Gregoire will take second. And Martinez grabs third. All right. I like that one. That was a good one. Because you got Globe, you got Van Art right behind, you got Vingegaard. Piccioni in eighth as well. Plenty, plenty of quality riders, but we got the win. We got two riders on the podium as well, so. With blistery cold weather, everyone's carrying an expected minus one race day condition. Should be throughout the field, and we've got exactly that. Our net is a minus seven, so a minus one per rider. So the bad race day condition is to be forgiven based on the weather, and we're looking okay still. Ponomar, Miskauskas, unfortunately Garzone again carrying the negative though, but Izumi, who is best placed overall after the individual time trial, he is 8th, just 25 seconds down. So with a zero race day condition, he should be okay getting through this one. And even though we are on a punchy stage number five here at Paradise, even though it's punchy, you can clearly see there's a lot more intensive climbing than what we've seen. And that's that's how these races go, the Torino one and this one. They both just kind of ramp up. They get more and more steep as you go along. They get harder and harder by the day. So it's great warm up for the early season for March as you're preparing for the months to come as plenty of stage racer Grand Tour types really don't start their season until here. They might have picked up one day or something prior to this, but a lot of guys, this is where they start the season. They stay away from you know, your, your early season Australias and whatnot, your February races, uh, unless they have true ambitions as classic riders. Uh, they, they tend to stay away. And we are starting to fade here, and we're coming up on that 60K. So two things need to happen here. One, up the effort. Keep our position a little bit better. Two, 
uh, coming up on this climb. If we have energy for one of these domestiques, they are going to have to go back. And the Skouskis looking the best place for that one. It's 57k to go, and we are now 1k from the top of it. And Skouskis is fading. You're protecting somebody. It's Karaman. Go get your water. And Karaman, up your effort, buddy. 76 mountain, and you're struggling like that. Michael Valgren is off. Valgren on the attack. Moskowska's getting the water. For now, we just want to... Oh, There's a sustained rhythm at the moment. Some riders definitely <sighs> to keep up. Not what we were looking for. Not at all. Is he going to make contact again? He's too far back. No. He's done. He's not going to make it back. So Moskowskis getting the water has failed. And I think Karaman has to now be the guy. Ponmar doesn't have the energy. Uh, Uri is way too far up there. Karaman, time to get some water. Uh, for you, go goodbye. Back to auto. Come on, Karaman. Don't slip out the back. Got some guys traveling back here. Garzon. Panamar moving back up, Karam and move it up. Not what I wanted with a big cat one coming. Okay. Why don't drop back? Don't drop back. I wanted you to hold that position. You got your water. You got everybody else's water. Good job. Now stay. Good boy. 41k to go. 10k to go. Big climb coming. 70 left. Chasing three. Minute and a half gap. And Palmar is very nearly done. So Kotze will be taking over here shortly. It's not looking like a puncher's day after all. If anything, go ahead and protect in the meantime. And as Palmar fades, which is already happening, we'll switch you down to uh, Garzone. The pack is slowly whittling away Let the you lead. be. And let's get you on the back of team leader Azumi. Where is his man? I don't know where they are, but there we go. He's got you. Palmer's dropped. 71 left. Down to a minute at the front. Down to under 6k on the climb, which started at 7.8k and 8% for the average. And we've got just the two leaders. Let's hold our positions a little bit better. A little more effectively. Not fade. Down to 45. Down to 4k. Halfway through the climb. Support's falling away, but those guys look like they're going to be okay to hang on. Field Sepkus is dropped. Valgrin, Mataway, Sivakov. Kelderman is dropped. O'Connor, Latour. A lot of good riders. Simmons is dropped too. Vanderbecken going out the back. And we're down to 33 riders. Roman, go ahead and protect, though Coatsy is nearly out of energy. 1.7k. Watch out! A team leader is falling behind. And there goes Coatsy. Izumi struggling at the back with the tempo. He needs to up the tempo to stay put. Roman, go ahead and protect Izumi instead. That's going to be a little bit easier than trying to catch up to Garzone anyway. 0.7. I'd like to have these three left. That would be good coming into the uh, final climb there. I think we've just about pulled that part off as Kotze doesn't quite make it. Restrepo does not quite make it either. 29 left. We got three up here. They'll get some recovery in. Azumi looking good for what's to come. Garzone okay. Karaman, he's got his work cut out for him. 39 riders, Kotze, the last one, trying to regain contact, but he'll have nothing left, especially as he's having to push hard here on the flat to maintain a 45-second gap, which, yeah, it's not that far, but he's out of energy. Sits up, and it's out to 51. Straight into the climb. Garzone, not fresh, but Azumi looking pretty dang good. He's on his maximum for now. And let's check our profile. What are we in for? 
6k, 5%, max is 7, and the finish line, finish line is pretty easy, I mean, you, you can be out front and have a little bit something left recovery-wise, so, do we want the mini train? I think we might. Are we strong enough for the mini train? I think we are. So, Karaman, not at a 99, but let's get you out front. Let's see how we look. Might as well test ourselves, right? Sprint point 4.7. That's your marker here as they're giving away seconds over the top. Conrad trying to attack, but you can see how we are responding nicely to that. These guys are not able to escape Karaman at his current rate, and we're down to 3.6. Let's get gels for Garzone. Karaman just measuring his time, measuring his effort, not going too hard. 2.9. Now we can start to push a little bit harder with Karaman to try to improve the position and set up Garzone for his last push as Vakalin on the attack. Karaman's got nothing left. 1.7 though, and this is where things are going to ease off for just a little bit. And that's a great place for... Uh, Garzone. That's a great place for Garzone, so we're waiting. There we go. Garzone to get the acceleration and pull us out a little bit. Set up a zoomy. And now it's sprint territory for you. Auto for you. Garzone pushing, 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 and now a zoomy trying to attack over the top. Garzone, please don't stop a zoomy. But I wasn't going for the sprint line. point, man. I was going for the win. <laughs> Not what I wanted you to do. And he sat up because he went through the sprint point thinking that that's what we were challenging. And it's not. It was the descent. Follow Ayuso. Let's toll it. There's Garzone. Garzone, get up behind us. Please. Now the flat, Azumi looks good. Garzone does not. Garzone will lead him out as soon as I can get up there. Garzone is getting a little recovery while we can, but let's now push him forward. Can you push forward, Garzone? You're going 99, and it doesn't look it. <laughs> it really doesn't look it. Wow, he's going to give us like two... Two seconds of, of lift, that's it. 2.7k. Azumi. Over the top. There we go, well placed, but somebody never got caught. He was one second up the road. There was a 99 effort, and Vakalin never got caught. And Wow, Azumi, I thought you had energy, man. Oh, expert difficulty. Huh? Didn't show, did it? <laughs> Vaklin's winning the stage. Bernal wins the sprint. And Azumi. Weak sauce at the finish on that one. Garzone finishes 26th. Karaman, he will finish in 30th. That's going to do it for this episode. We'll finish this race up next time. We're into the later stages of it, so we should be able to hopefully get a little additional racing beyond Paradis and Torino next time out. I'm a Catholic gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.